Yesterday we explained so many straight past times of Obama Krishna. And we have left uh, thousands and thousands of so many street pastimes of Bal Krishna. Some we will explain after this pastime. First we should complete this. I used to complete this Damodar line one month of Brajmandal Parikrama. <laughs> Daily, but going on. But we have explained it very so you should be satisfied taking a smell of this state three past times. Also Dushoda mother part going? She was chatting. And what thinking? She was all drugged. In Remembering the sweet pastimes of all Krishna, so many women. And singing, Govinda Dharma, Dharma, Reti, Govinda Dharma. Decorated. If he has rubbed so much 
The milk being in the pot on the fire got hotter and began to boil over and it was coming over the side and into the fire. What is the meaning? The milk was thinking, Oh, Krishna's stomach is so big. Even Ganesh has a very big stomach. But inside the stomach of Krishna, millions of universes and millions of Ganeshas. So how much milk can he drink? Oh, it is unlimited. And the milk in Mother Yashoda's breast, how much? Oh, this is not milk. This is her Batsalya Prem, her love for Krishna, also like an endless ocean. So there will be no end to Krishna's drinking and no end to Mother Yashoda's feeding him. So the milk sitting in the pot on the fire was thinking, Oh, if Krishna is taking Mother Shoda's milk, then what chance will I get to serve Krishna? I have no chance at all to serve Krishna. And if I cannot serve Krishna, then my life is useless. What is the use of staying alive if I have no chance to please Krishna? Like Narthan Das Thakur is praying. Kenova achaye prana kisuka lagiya Narottama dasa ke no nagelo maria Narottama Thakur has prayed. Oh, what is the use of maintaining this life if I cannot serve Krishna with love and devotion? Why have I not died at once? So pure devotee should have a mood like this and do bhajan in this mood. If in anyone has not like this mood, really, he has not begun his devotee life. To such Guru Dev, to such devotee, it should come first. And 
after that, for Krishna and Mahaprabhu will come later on. But those who have no this idea for his Guru Dev, but high class of Vaishnava, Diksha, Siksha Guru, like, no bhajan, no even beginning. So we see like that. So the milk decided to give up his life and was jumping out of the pot and into the fire. You know the life of Siddha Ramnath Das Goswami? The separation of Siddha Sanatana Goswami and Rupa Goswami. Oh, how it was. He was Govardhan and Radha Kuni. What time? Python and and what used to be. So if we are not feeling any separation for, for devotees, pure devotees, that we have no taste in chanting, remembering and doing anything. We are not feeling any glorification for Guru Deva or Vaishnava in our You should try. Always some questions are coming from devotees. What should now we do? Untangling everything. Have not left no stone untangled. Untangled everything. <coughs> but those who are fortunate, they will collect and try to oh, do like this. And not anything, then what? Do? So then, Yashoda she was feeding Krishna, but she looked and saw that the milk was overflowing and going into the fire. At that time, she thought, oh, I have to save this milk. Why? Krishna is taking my breast milk. But from my breast milk, I cannot make yogurt, butter, ghee, rasgulla, sandesh. I cannot make so many sweet preparations from this breast milk to serve Krishna. So this, I should save this milk. So that time, Madhya Shoda wanted to put Krishna down. But Krishna's belly was not full. He had not finished drinking yet. So he didn't want to be put down. Krishna, now, he's holding on to Madhya Shoda with both hands and both feet and with his mouth also like a monkey. Holding very tightly. And he's applying his whole Shakti, all of his strength. What kind of strength? Or oh, Krishna can create millions and millions of universes in a moment and destroy them and recreate them the next moment. Oh, very easily and quickly, you cannot even tell the difference. He's so powerful. And now that Krishna is giving his full Atincha Shakti, inconceivable potency, to hold on to the breast of Madhya Shoda. We see that when Putana was only six days old, Putana, she came and took Krishna and she wanted to put Krishna down. She said, oh child, leave me, get down, be away from me. And she had strength in her arms like 60,000 elephants. But she was unable to put Krishna down. And now Krishna, being not six days old, like a newborn baby, now he's about two and a half, almost three years old. So he's much bigger and stronger. And he's holding on. But Madhya Shoda, just with one hand, with the left hand, oh, sit there. <laughs> put him down very easily. How is it possible? <coughs> Now, because Madhya Shoda's love so high, Krishna is like a helpless baby. He cannot check her. So Madhya Shoda, she put him down and she went to the milk. And she sprinkled water there to stop the milk from giving up its life. What is the teaching? Very, very deep. Here, Madhya Shoda, she can be compared to Guru Tattva. Guru is pure devotee and associate of Krishna, always serving Krishna 24 hours a day. But when he sees any disciple has a hankering, a deep aspiration in their heart to serve Krishna, so much so that they are on the verge of death, that they cannot go on, they cannot live for another moment without serving Krishna. When Guru sees the disciple has a mood like this, oh then, of oh, leaving his own service to Krishna, he comes to that disciple and pacifies him, telling so many pastimes of Krishna and filling his heart with all the nectar of Bhakti Rasa. 
So Madhya Shona here is like Guru Tattva, giving up her own personal service to Krishna. She's going or to sprinkle some water to pacify the milk. Oh, don't cry. You will also have a chance to serve Krishna. So when Madhya Shona went to pacify the milk, then Krishna was very angry. Now he's biting his lips and tears are in his eyes and he's very angry and thinking, why did she put me down? I'll teach her a good lesson. Now I'm going to do something very, very naughty. So then he thought, oh, there's a big pot of yogurt here. I'll turn it upside down. So then Krishna, he came there and he put his hands on the pot of yogurt and tried to turn it over. <coughs> oh, as Lord Varahadev, he can pick up the whole earth planet on the tip of his nose. Or he can lift Govardhan on the little finger of his left hand. As Lord Nishingadev, he can destroy Hiranyakashipu, the most powerful demon, in just one second. But now in Vrindavan, as Bala Gopal, Yashoda Nanda and Krishna, he cannot even turn over one yogurt pot. He's pulling and pulling, but it cannot move. What to do? He looked around and he saw one uh, grinding uh, pestle. You know, you have a mortar and pestle. Inside, in India, in the old times, they would put spices there and take a pestle and mash. But today, not so much now. The ladies, they just go to the supermarket and they buy the spices in a packet. Everything is already ground up. And therefore, they don't have to do any hard work. And therefore, they get mm, overweight and high blood pressure and so many problems. <laughs> so, then, Krishna, he took the uh, grinding pestle. And he was thinking, I will break the vessel with the pestle. At the top, the vessel is quite thick and hard to break, but the bottom is somewhat thin. So Krishna, he took the pestle and he broke one hole in the bottom. But if a big vessel is full of yogurt and you make a hole in the bottom, what will happen? Very wonderful thing. It will spray out in a stream all across the kitchen floor. So Krishna was very surprised seeing the very beautiful white yogurt spraying across the kitchen floor and he began to clap and dance and he was very happy. Very, very jubilant to see this wonderful sight. But then another thought all of a sudden came into his mind. What was that? Uh-oh. If my mother sees this now, I'm for the high jump. So then, Krishna thought, it's time to leave the scene of the crime. So then Krishna very quickly, he ran out from the kitchen and there was one door into the storage room. And in that room, another door leading out into the open road. So Krishna, he went there, closing the door behind him and went into that room. When he came into that room, trying to get away from his mother, he was walking along, but he looked up and saw very fresh and fragrant butter hanging from a pot on the ceiling. And he forgot completely about how he was trying to escape. Some water came on his tongue and he was looking. How can I taste this butter? So he saw that there was one big grinding mortar there and he climbed up onto the grinding mortar and reached up and he was taking the butter. At that time, so many monkeys in the Gokul and Vrindavan, there were so many monkeys. They came inside the house and he began to feed the monkeys and so many crows also. Why? Oh, in his previous incarnation as Lord Ramachandra, at that time, he was searching out Sita and he took the help of so many monkeys. Then he was in the forest in exile. He could not take care of their comforts. He could not feed them. Yet they gave their life and soul and everything for him and he was unable to repay them. So now he's thinking, oh, this time I will repay them. So, so many monkeys were coming and he's taking the butter and very happily and lovingly feeding the monkeys and feeding the crows. Why is he feeding the crows? because they are in the descendants, they are the dynasty of Kakopashandi, who also helped him in his Ram Lila. So Krishna is very happily and lovingly feeding all the various living creatures of Vrindavan. In the meantime, Madhi Shoda came back from saving the milk. And she came back to where she was churning and saw the pot was broken and the yogurt was everywhere, all over the floor. What to do? What should she do now? We should know that when a criminal commits a crime in this world. He thinks that he can escape. But when the police come there, 
they search that place and they find some clues like fingerprints or anything like this. So Krishna, he is very intelligent, thinking, I'll escape from my mother. But what did he do? He walked all the way through the yogurt. <laughs> and then he walked into the next room, leaving a trail of yogurt footprints all the way, showing him to where he, he was hiding. So Mother Yashoda, like a detective, she caught, saw the clues and began to follow the footprints. And she came there to the door where Krishna was feeding the monkeys, opened the door and looked inside. And there she saw, very beautiful, very beautiful, a oh, small, naked baby, and no clothes, only wearing a uh, chain around his waist. And he's feeding monkeys, and his back is turned to her. She cannot see she's behind him. So she thought, oh, now I'll teach him a good lesson. She took a stick, one lati, babu, rod in her hand. So now I'll teach him a very good lesson. And she started to sneak up behind Krishna. How? Just like, you know, cats are very, very expert. They can walk in a very silent way. If there are some dry leaves on the ground and anyone walks there, it will make a sound. But cats, they can walk with very tender steps in such a way that there will be no sound at all. So Mother Yashoda, now she's sneaking up behind Krishna just like a cat, making no noise. And now she's right behind him and reaching out to catch him. But at that time, even though Krishna's back is to her, in front of him, the monkeys and the crows, they can see this way. And they saw Mother Yashoda and the monkeys are running, running, running here and there. And the crows are flying away. Krishna, where are you going? Where are you going? I have butter for you. Why are you running away? Then he realized, someone's behind me. <laughs> he looked around and Mother Yashoda is about to grab him and he jumped down from the grinding water and began to run, running in a zigzag way like this. So Mother Yashoda cannot catch him. Now Mother Yashoda is running behind him. He said, what can I do? My mother may catch me. Okay, I'll go outside into the streets. Why? Because in Vedic culture, ladies are very shy. And they'll not go out into a public place unless they're accompanied by their husbands or friends or they're dressed very nicely and decorated very nicely. So Krishna's thinking, if I run out into the street, my mother will be ashamed that she will not go outside and catch me. So then Krishna, he ran out into the road. Then when they showed her, she came up to the door and she thought, oh, I shouldn't go out. Then she's looking around and so no one was around because today is Diwali. So everyone is celebrating the festival in their home. So she looked here and there, no one is on the street. Okay, now I'll catch him. <laughs> Mother Yashoda, she also ran out after Krishna. She's running behind him, very hard to catch because he's small and nimble. What is the symptom of bhakti? We can see whether what Jasoda did displeased his son or it was bhakti or not, against bhakti. Anya Vilashita Shunyam Jnan Karmat Jnanapala Anupullena Krishna Siddhanam Bhakti To please Krishna First thing Please to try to please Krishna Please Gurudev Blow please devotees By our behavior Oh this Bhakti <coughs> But what Jasoda did? He took up Krishna from her life and told that he just of sit up, sit down. Still, <coughs> Krishna was hungry. He wanted to take milk, more milk. He was not satisfied. But even Jasoda mother, for suddenly, all oh, just of sit down. And she went. <coughs> to what? To pacify the dog. Pacify that milk. <coughs> and he took some water and he sprinkled. And then when it was normal, he turned back. Why he did so? Krishna is dear, more dear 
or that milk was more. Why Krishna was waiting? Why? So we should make Krishna weep. <coughs> Sometimes it seems like this, that it is not bhakti to displease Krishna. But sometimes to displease Krishna is also within the area of work. And sometimes to please Krishna is also not bhakti. How? She thought that only my milk will not support Krishna because Krishna is gradually becoming bigger. He likes also Sandesh of Manohar Laddu from milk and sweets from milk, rabbi and other things. From my milk, no yogurt, no sweets, nothing. So I must save that milk. Only for Krishna. Oh, she feels that even I am doing and Krishna is weeping, no harm after one minute he will be. Again, at the end, he will know. What I am doing for Krishna, benefit of Krishna. So this weeping of Krishna is within the area of bhakti. <coughs> but he, when Krishna is fighting with demons like Charam, Pustik and other become very inspired and he feels very happy in fighting. But his, oh, this pleasing is not happy. We should not think about Krishna. We should think bhakti remains in the heart of devotees. This pleasing and not pleasing or pleasing is of Krishna. But what is the mood of devotee or any person who is who is making displeased to Krishna or making pleased to Krishna? That is bhakti. What is in Krishna is really not bhakti. Understand? So bhakti which is in the observer, container. So this will be bhakti. So charan mustik by wrestling. So Krishna becomes happy. So his happiness is not bhakti. What he is doing, this nonsense. What doing? To kill Krishna. He is fighting. So this mood is not bhakti. The Sudha what things? To kill Krishna or to displease Krishna? No. You know that after a moment, other, and again he will be happy. He is maybe so he is not understanding all this. So he is doing everything for the benefit of Krishna, to please Krishna, to support and so this is happy. Sometimes it may be that Krishna uh, has taken bath and Mother Yasuda has decorated with so much uh, good garments and everything. Decorated his hair and he is very pretty. But in the meantime he began to play with mud and so many things and he made his all the garments very dirty. And Yasuda Mother, what are you doing? And not a boy, and he gave his life. <laughs> and he began to, oh, he began to, when louder, louder, in a, uh, like sometimes we see that any boy is with him, a very big, a long phrase. <laughs> it seems that he is tired now. <laughs> so this took a very long phrase. <laughs> 
What is this? Oh, Jasoda I have no nothing to do. It may be that he may be weeping and he will tell take his ears and he will teach. Again will we do? Why? For that garment that he has entered. Oh, this garment is so much dear to Mother Yasoda or that Krishna is more dear. The garment is for Krishna or Krishna is for garment. We should know. Oh, the devotee, father, mother and all. They have more love for the things which pleases Krishna. Understand? Oh, then Krishna even. If you want to please any lady, oh, so your affection to his joint, her joint, give something and kiss, and take it in your head. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> even he is one eye. <laughs> this is nature. <laughs> Make clear his garment. Even sometimes she can take the flute of Krishna for seven and she can give it. Always taking this in sleeping here doing what Krishna is doing thing. He may only be doing that. Thing. So this is also a high class of bhakti. This, this is the nature of bhakti. So we should do. We should follow this thing. And that is how it has been told. Anukullena Krishna Anushilana Bhakti. Anushilana is there. And he served the, all the purposes. But what is the need of your Anukullena? This Anukullena is for this purpose. Anushilanam means serving. Yasoda is serving. But anyone doing like this, no anukulena, no bhakti. He may serve. Putana came and she was serving Krishna. Oh my dear, Lama come and take me. But this serving is not bhakti. Why? No anukulena. It is not anukulena. So, it is not bhakti. we should depend on both. Anushilana, not full meaning is there. With Anukulena, then Uttama. But even if it is not Uttama Bhakti, oh, if you are not Anya Vilasita Sunya, devoid of all what? meditation, desires, or any swarga, oh, moksha, anything, and it is not. And also, Gyan Karmat Anamita. It is not covered with Gyan. What is covered? If you think that if I am not serving, I am not following fully Varnasham Dharma. We are not doing kindness to others and giving donations, not making hospitals, not showing any sympathy to others, <coughs> that bhakti will not do, will not come. So we must do all these things. We should do the what? Funeral sacrifices of my father, mother. Like a smart, we must do otherwise bhakti will not. Then what is this? Or bhakti is covered with jnana and karma. Don't think. If you are thinking that first we should have knowledge, what is this world, what is this and that, what is maya, and then after that we will serve Krishna and we will do bhakti. This is not possible. <coughs>
then it will be bhakti will be covered. You cannot give up bhakti, uh, karma and gyan. Never. To take, to eat, to take, pray. All is karma. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? This is gyan. Without this you cannot live. But your bhakti should not be covered with this. Your karma and gyan should be how? Oh, favorable to. <coughs> but if your gyan and karma are not favorable to bhakti, then it is not really bhakti. Oh, Vishnu. If you are doing a funeral ceremony of your father, to what? To collect devotees. That they should know, they do all these things. No attachment is there. Without attachment, if you are doing for preaching something, you can do no. Without attachment. Understand what you do? For Lok Sangraham. What is the meaning of Lok Sangraham? If you are not doing so, oh, they will not come. In the first stage, when devotees are coming, don't tell them, Oh, you should give up your father, mother and worldly things and come at once. He renounce pakka like <laughs> Like oh, whom? Like uh, Rafanath. Oh, at once you should give up all these things. Don't tell all this. Yes, sir. And when there will be some mature, 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 then you Oh, you should give up your wife and give up all your money to me, not to your wife. <laughs> oh, don't do all this nonsense. <laughs> don't do it. So we should try to do both And then, so, these are the things in Jasoda. He has favorable word. Ankullena. Only for Krishna. For momentary beast, Krishna is weeping. Why weeping? Because Yoga Maya has covered his everything. His affluence and Bhagavata. That is why. So, after that, what became? You. Krishna was running here and there and Madhan Yasoda, <coughs> some healthy and some what? Healthy. Healthy. No. But his heart, this. Oh yes. Oh, why? If she will go, it may be oh, supposed to be a group of them. So, she was following Krishna to courage Krishna. So, Krishna is running and Mother is also running behind Krishna. Krishna had one idea. Oh, my Maya is not come on the highway because he is a chess lady. So, Krishna is running and Mother Jasuda also running after Krishna. So, when Mother Jasuda was running, she had some flowers on her bread. Flowers are dropping down one after another. In Braj, all are transcendental. Suppose the flower is telling Mother and inspiring Mother, Oh Mother, don't think that you are alone. We are all of us with you. Today must have to catch Krishna. Don't worry. We are following you and helping you. So when Mother Jasna about to grab Krishna, then Krishna ran jigjag away. Then Krishna Mother Jasna could not reach there. Then Mother Jasna told, Oh Krishna, look I am beating you. Then Krishna closed his eyes. Why you are 
Reckon that job at part. Oh mother. Oh mother, why are you pursuing me? I am I never broke this broke that vessel. Who told you I broke? I have broken this. Then Mother Jesus said, who broke this? Then Krishna replied, Mother, oh Maya, who created this? He has broken this. That means Krishna is Supreme Personality Godhead. He told who created this? That means it created by Krishna, by direct or indirect. Way. So Krishna has broken. Mother said, oh, you created this. Then Mother Jesus told, oh, Lala, who feed the monkeys and crows? Maya, who create monkeys and crows, he feed them. Krishna in one hand want to tell that he is creator of creator of creator. But Mother Jasoda's parental love is so deep. Mother Jasoda never think that Krishna is creator of all universe. So again Krishna start running. Again Mother Jasoda pursued him. Then Mother Jasoda told, Krishna, look, I must beat you. I am throwing this stick. Then Krishna, oh, if my mother throw this stick that will hit me, then Krishna closed his eyes and Mother grabbed him. Mother Jasoda caught him by one hand and by the other hand she has stick. Krishna, shall I beat you? Then Krishna is coming behind Mother Jasoda. Maya should not beat me. Mother Jasoda told, Oh, you are friend of monkey, Bandar Bandha. I shall beat you. You are Chor. Chor means thief. He said, Oh, Mother, I, in my dynasty there is no thief. That means father dynasty. Krishna's father is Nanda Baba. Nanda Baba's father is Parijana. And Parijana's father is Devamid, which you heard from Gurudev two days before. And Mother Yasoda, in their dynasty, in her dynasty, there is one, in forefather name was Chor Ghos. Krishna has heard from his mother, Mahyari, in your dynasty there is Chor, I am not Chor at all. So, now this way Krishna is talking with the mother, and mother bring back her in his house. Mother Yasoda thought, and Krishna told, oh mother, you remember, when you want to specify the meal, in your ankle there is very very thick golden ornament, ankle belt. You are running so fast, it touched with that clay pot, clay pot was so thin, it is broken. I am not blamed for this, don't blame me. So it is not possible for me to break that pot. I am so small baby, and the pot is so big, so heavy, how I can do this? So Mother Yasoda bring him back and thought, I should not beat him because Krishna now became angry. If I beat him, he may go jungle or he may jump in Jamuna. It will be better. I can bind him because I have to do household work. Because today I gave leave for all male servants. No one is here. So it will be better. I shall bind him and later I shall pacify him again. So Mother Yasoda to took off his silken robe to tie his own bread. So Mother Yasoda thought, oh, how I shall bind him? I must bind Krishna with this grinder motor. Why? Because Krishna was stealing butter and feeding monkey and toes. So, that grinder motor helped Krishna to accomplish that task. So, both are guilty. So, I have to punish both of them. So, I must bind Krishna with the grinder motor. That Krishna could not go away. The grinder motor is very heavy. So, my, will, my purpose will be served. Thinking this, Mother Jasoda start binding Krishna. Why they could not bind him? Or anywhere, I think she banded in grinder water. Because grinder water helped him to. I told already. Yeah. I told Krishna, accomplish 
the help, the client are going to help them to accomplish the task of stealing butter. Both the time, so both will be punished. So, Mother Yasoda, how she will bind Krishna? If she want to bind, must not, is needed. What is the explain in Mathura? Krishna was so baby, Mother Yasoda sat on the ground and spread her both feet and put Krishna on that and between and push Krishna with her chin and by two hands now start binding. So when she start binding, he not she noticed, oh my rope is so long and Krishna had golden chain by Mother Yasoda only three fingers. But rope became two fingers to sword. Mother said, wonder, what is going to happen? Why is to sword? But I don't care. I must bind him. So, when Mother Jasna was binding, Krishna was calling for Badima. Badima means Mother Rohini. Rohini was not there. Baladaku was not there. No one is there. So Krishna became some angry with Mother Rohini. Other time, Badima is to come to help me. Today he has, she has not come. And other sonis of Mother Yasoda, they reached there. Then Yasoda told, Oh, go and get more rope. Today I must bind my own son. They brought some rope, yet two finger to sword. The sonis are telling Mother Yasoda, Oh Yasoda, listen, you get this son in your middle age. He is so soft, so delicate. Don't bind him. Well, no, I must bind. He can form my own. I, he did some mischief work, I must bind him. Again they brought rope, oh, take this rope. They became a little hesitant. No one lied that Mother Yasoda should bind Krishna. But Mother Yasoda, very determined, I must bind. Always to bring her to source. And so he told, O oh, Yasode, the Vidhada, that means the creator or the destiny, the creator of the predominant of destiny, he never wrote binding Krishna's forehead. So don't bind, give up your endeavor. Mother, no, no, I must bind, go and get more rope. They are bringing, check this, and putting there. The rope became miles and miles long. Krishna's OS, as before, only twelve fingers, very skinny, yet always two fingers to sort. Why is this? What is the cause? Krishna thought, Mother Yasoda should not bind me. If Mother will bind me, then today I could not go for cow grazing. I am not allowed to play with Sakhas, and Sakhas will tease me. Always, oh, every hour you put still butter. Today, Mother Jasra gave you a good lesson. Will you be again? That's so how you will tease me. So, Mother should not bind me. When Krishna desired this, immediate, his avhatan ghatan patiyasi sakti, that means Jogmaya arrived there. And she arranged everything. That rope is going longer and longer. Krishna's OS as well as before, yet, Mother Yasoda could not bind him. Always two finger to sort. Then Mother Yasoda became so tired. She thought, oh, if I could not bind my small lala, how I can show my face to my sockies? Always they will tease me, always criticize me for my whole life. So I must bind. And she thought by her mind that Femininity, Narayan. Oh Narayan, I could not bind my own son. Please be merciful, then I can bind him. I am taking your shelter. As soon as Mother Yasoda took shelter of Narayan, what happened? Dristuva Parishamam Krishna Kripayasi Sabandane. As soon as Mother Yasoda surrendered herself, the lotus feet of Narayan, Mother Yasoda never thought 
Krishna is Narayan of Narayan of Narayan. Mother Joseph said, only is my Lala. Nothing more than that. So, when she surrendered the lotus of Narayan, then Krishna's Jagmaya Shakti disappeared from there. And Kripa Shakti, yeah. Krishna not uh, saw that she, her mother, his mother has taken shelter of Narayan or not. No, by mind, Mother Jasna. Krishna Parisharama. Yes. Krishna, what saw? The mother Jasna became tired, so it has come in. So it is you should tell. No, that is not important, so as important, Parisharama. So, Krishna saw that. Mother is sweating. Oh, mouths became reddies. <coughs> Changing colors. Some said very shy. Very, very. And when we saw, at once, his mercy came, and that Jog Maya, at once, disappeared from there. So, in the Shaktis of Krishna, there are so many Parashaktis. Among this Kripa Shakti is most probably And that is why when this came Kripa Shakti, at once that Yog Maya Shakti, influence of Yog Maya, at once disappeared from there. So what is the two fingers? What is the two fingers? So why always two fingers, two swords? What is the teachings here? What is the mysterious here? Two fingers. One we are the sadhas that practice their sadhan bhajan, their own endeavor. And another is Krishna's mercy. If we thought, oh, we should not do bhajan now, when Bhagavan Krishna will be merciful, then he will bestow mercy, then I shall do. It is not correct. If one, someone thought, oh, I shall do everything by my own endeavor, I no need to depend on mercy of Hari Guru Vaishnava. It is not also correct. We have to do our parishram, we have to do our sadhan bhajan and have to pray for mercy. If I am both will be combined, then someone can bind Krishna like Mother Yasoda. Why? So, Why? both is needed. If we not do sadhan, everywhere Krishna mercy is there. Krishna mercy is sovereign everywhere. Tadabhi kripad bhutabhi chinna. Everywhere Krishna mercy. We are not uh, taking that person. So when we will take the mercy, pray for mercy to Krishna. Everything is mercy of Krishna. Come. Then there is one thing. And in Vibhava, always doing what? Samadam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Sanadam, Padasi, Archanam, Bandanam, Dasasakam, Maligayidanam. We will increase this, this thing. And also our praying will be increased. And when Krishna will see that, oh, oh he is doing this, all kinds of development. And then mercy will come. And at once he will be controlled. And Bhagsurta Bhakti will come, praying will come. So this is the process. Oh, I should do what I am doing, and when Krishna will be merciful, then I will have his darshan. No, this is not. We should try to devour fully, so that seeing all this, oh Krishna, Krishna, right? It has been told in Upanishad work. What Upanishad? Jena, Kiraparana. Naya Matma Pravachani na Lampyo na Medhaya na Bohuna Sutile Jabayeva Yesa Vilti Hina Lampyo And Krishna will see that all he is doing day and night chanting like Haridhar And for Krishna, he is like Prahlad Mahara tolerating all these things And day and night weeping for my mercy Then automatically So this is the process so, this is the process. Now Gurudev has come, we have become so much inspired. When Gurudev go from one destination to other destination, 
Oh, what shall I do? I could not chant anymore. Oh, I stopped my chant Gayatri. What shall I do now? Shall I renew again? Have to be seated in fire sacrifice? Or have to take other dishes and again? This is not question. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Panchara Bhutara 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 So they say to me, only one can bind like with your shoulder. Otherwise, no. For today is also a drama play. Very big. But we'll have to complete this also. <laughs> then, after what? What can you? In a brief. Pani Hathi also. Two drama. That's all. One Pani Hathi. Should I have bound Krishna or shouldn't I? Maybe he'll be so sad. Is that the best thing that I did? Of course it's for his welfare so that he won't be a thief when he'll grow up. In this way she was going back and forth in her mind. As she was doing this, all of a sudden, there was a gigantic sound. That sound was the sound of the two trees, the Jamalar Jum trees, falling down and almost hitting Krishna. Krishna had wanted to play with his friends, but he was bound to the grinding mortar. So he crawled and crawled, encouraged by his friends, and he brought the grinding mortar in between the two trees. Pulling and pulling, the grinding mortar smashed over the two trees, which almost fell on Krishna. When Mother Yasoda heard this sound, she ran out and saw this, and she thought, oh, I could have killed my son. She became just like a statue, stunned, and she couldn't speak, she couldn't do anything, she couldn't even weep, she was just like a stone statue. And Krishna himself, he was weeping. And the boys, the cowherd boys, little baby boys, tried to untie Krishna, but they couldn't. Then Nanda Baba and everybody else came, also having heard the sound. And Nanda Baba, because Vatsalya Prem had bound Krishna, only Vatsalya Prem or higher Madhurya Prem could unbound, unbind him. So Nanda Baba unbound Krishna and asked, what happened? The boys were saying, oh Baba, 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 Krishna knocked over the trees by his strength. Nobody believed him. So then Nanda Baba said to Krishna, who did this to you? Who bound you like this? First Krishna couldn't say anything simply weeping and taking big breaths. <sighs> Finally, it subsided somewhat. And he said, Ma, he said that his mother did it. Oh, mother did it? Oh, I will beat her. I didn't know that mother was so cruel. Then they wanted Krishna to go to the laps of Mother Yasoda and take her breast milk, seeing that she was completely stunned, practically dead herself, thinking, I could have killed my son. But Krishna said, no, I'll never go to her again. Then they asked, then who will feed you? Oh, Baba will feed me. Where will you get your milk? Oh, from the cows, and Baba will give me mystery. And where will you live? I'll live with Balaram. So Nanda Baba, in order to pacify Krishna somewhat, took Krishna and Balaram on his arms and fed them the cow's milk and some mystery from his pocket. Meanwhile, everyone is weeping because Krishna is weeping, but he won't go back to his mother. And the hours are passing, nobody's cooking, Krishna's not eating. Finally, Rohini Ma said to Krishna, Well, you're not going to your mother, what if she, indicating what if she dies? So Krishna immediately began weeping and ran to the arms and breasts of Mother Yasoda. She covered his head and fed him. And then everybody became so happy, the cooking began. So only the love of somebody like Mother Yasoda or the friends of Krishna or the beloveds of Krishna can bind him, can control him. So if we take their shelter, 
if we take shelter, how to control by Arjuna and Dwarka, or if we want to co control Krishna even more by Jashoda, the cowherd boys, or if we want completely to control Krishna, then taking shelter and guidance of the gopis, and they will teach us how to control Krishna. Gaur Premananda. Very, very short. So something is gone, what? <laughs> Lost. So, now, there is not time so much to express all this. But one should, one we should tell that why Krishna took that mortar and he liberated two trees. Who were they? When Krishna was blinded by Yasoda Mother, he was thinking, why must fulfill the desire of Narvish? He has caused to, to, to brothers, <coughs> the sons of Nanakume, very well. They were thinking, Disobedience, naked, taking bath with girls in a pond, shameless. So, they were playing with girls and Nag was going there. And they don't even care for Nagism. But the girls at once came out from the pond and took their clothes and they did pranam. But they were abusing these girls and even to Nora. And Nora took off. You are the sons of my friend, but so bogus sons. Now you are in false pride that we are very wealthy, taking so much alcohol and doing nonsense here. So you should oh, be like trees, shameless. And for thousand and thousand one just you will be in the same. And realize what is so much suffering in being a tree. Without doing, you can long history, but I'm telling you. And that is why. Oh, they became tree. But when they began, began to be trees like, oh, they became very humble and and North Rishi. And they were praying, Oh Goswami, be merciful to us. And he told that, Oh, my this cost cannot be. So, you will be trees, but where? In Gokul, where Krishna, so play post, not be of God, will come. And he will touch you, and then you will have so much of bhakti and you will be liberated also and you will be his associates. And that is why he came there, liberated and gave prema bhakti. Bhakti Ajo Tata Prima Bhakti Swatam De Prayacha Namokshe Graha Mesti we don't want to liberation, but what we are, as you give them love and affection of Praja, they want Be merciful. Whether you are binding in water by Yasoda or you are out of that, no more. If you are binded by, oh, you can do like this. And if you are out of that binding, oh, very good be like also. Who does not like that, you should come out of that binding. But we prefer that you should be binded in that. And that very shape should come in our power. Sadami Manasyabi Nastam. Go, You should begin your. Just a brief announcement. Many of you are on the Hari Kata mailing list. That is, uh, you have signed up to get Gurudev's lectures coming to your email account just as normal letters come. And every few days, 
just like these lectures that Shula Burde gave here in Washington, will be coming to the homes of those of you who are on the Harikata mailing list. Many of you are not on the Harikata mailing list. So after the drama, after Gurudev leaves, we have these sheets of paper telling how you can get on the list. You just press a few buttons on your computer, and then every few days you get Gurudev's lectures coming right to your own home, and you feel like you're almost on the tour. Also, back in Alachua, our godbrother Nishchinted us, who's already printed millions of Srila Prabhupada's books and distributed them. This is his first effort in printing Gurudev's books. He's Xeroxed the lectures that Gurudev gave on this tour and also on the last, some from the last tour. Very, very beautiful tattva and truths about the goal and how to get there. He gave lectures about on his own appearance day and on the appearance day of Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, on the appearance day of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, and all their glories and the glories of Guru Tattva are here. And also he gave one lecture on how to be free from anger and resentment, and that's also here. So our godbrother uh, spent a fortune to Xerox the books, but he's only asking any donation that you can give to help go towards the charges, and we'll be here at the end distributing them, so you can come to us and get some. Gurudev is only going to bathroom all, all the three days here. He's coming back quickly. Did you want to? He's very happy there. So we want to give them very, very special thanks. <laughs> and also, we want to send Gurudev's books and also incense on their home. the shuttle to the airport because we don't want any devotees stranded. Also, Kishore Krishna was asked me to announce he has lost his Swiss Army knife. If anyone has it, please return. <laughs> The life of Ganga Mata Goswamini. Please forgive us for our mistakes and give us your mercy that we may please you with this offering. Once, there was a beautiful girl in East Bengal named Sachi Devi. She was the daughter of the king of Pudia. From the very beginning of her life, she heard about Krishna and gave her whole heart to him. From the age of about five, she would worship Krishna, sing, play, and do everything with him. Go qualified girl. She was highly intelligent and she studied Sanskrit and Bengali. When she was about 16 years old, she became intensely mad for Krishna. Thus, her father and mother became very worried about her marriage.
Oh, my dear daughter, you have now come to a marriageable age, and I would like to arrange your marriage with a very qualified, powerful young king. I will give so much gold and jewelry as your dowry, all your friends and relatives will come and give you their blessings. Yes, now is the time you should marry. Don't worry, your father will choose a husband wisely and you'll be very happy. You will have so many maidservants waiting to please you and your husband will give you precious ornaments. When you have strong and handsome sons, the whole kingdom will be overjoyed. My dear father and mother, please excuse me. I cannot marry anyone. My marriage has already been done with Krishna. There is no need of another marriage. Don't be worried. I will go to Vrindavan and meet my beloved there. The king and queen tried to persuade Sachigiri to change her mind, but she was determined to go to Vrindavan. She took her deities in her arms and was ready to go alone, on foot, about three to four thousand miles. Seeing he could not stop her, her father arranged everything. Please. 
please instruct me. What is the process of chanting? Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in his Shikshastana, has described the mood in which a sadha should chant Harinam. He has said, Considering oneself lower and more worthless than a blade of grass, being more tolerant than a tree, and devoid of all sense of false prestige, one should give respect to all others according to their eligibility, and one should not desire any respect in return. In this humble state of mind, one can chant Harina constantly. Mind 
24 hours a day in glorifying the holy name of Lord Hadi. This is the essence of all instruction. I do not want you to be alone. There is an elderly Vaishnavi who is very advanced in Hari Bhajan. Please, go and get her. Sachi Devi in the hands of that lady devotee, just as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu placed the hands of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in the hands of Sri Swarup Damodar. Then, hearing, hearing and hearing and developing her Krishna consciousness, she became totally renounced. At the age of 25, her Gurudev instructed her as follows. I want you to go to Radha Kuni, to the place of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami and do bhajan like him. You should also take that elderly Vaishnavi with you. For the next 25 years, Sachi Devi remained in the renounced order, doing Madhukari. There was no problem in maintaining herself, and therefore she would do bhajan day and night. After 25 years, her guru became very old.
She arrived in the same way that Sri, San that Sri Sanatan Goswami came from Brajamandal to Jagannath Puri, traveling for so many days on foot. We cannot imagine how she came. Once in Puri, Sachi Devi discovered the place of Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. She made a hut of leaves and began to live there, always chanting and remembering Krishna. In the evenings, she would give classes on the Venugit and other very important subjects of Srimad Bhagavatam. When giving class, tears would come to her eyes. All the residents of Puri were attracted, and even the king would come in disguise just to hear from her. Descended to this world, all were going to take bath in the Ganges, which was hundreds of miles away. Today is a very auspicious day. I should also go and bathe in the Ganges. Yes, I must go. Sachi Devi was going to go, but at midnight, she saw that, oh, Ganges is coming here. There was a very heavy, roaring current. As though by magic, she found herself in that Ganges, where lakhs and lakhs of persons were taking their baths. Then, the current took her to the temple of Lord Jagannath, where it entered and touched his lotus feet. Ganges originally came from the feet of Jagannath Dev because he is Krishna himself. When Sri Vamandev took the universe away from Bali Maharaj, his second foot went through the universal covering and touched the causal ocean. A drop of that causal ocean thus came into the universe as the Ganges. It can therefore be said that Lord Jagannath himself, in the form of the Ganges, picked Sachi Devi up and brought her directly to his lotus feet. In the morning, the priest came and unlocked the door, and thousands and thousands of persons were now there to take darshan. Sachi Devi thought to herself, Krishna, 
and she could not answer the priest. Also, it is prohibited for devotees to reveal their intimate realizations. And moreover, no one would have believed her. Thus, she was taken to jail as if she were a thief. During the night, Lord Jagannath appeared in a dream to the king and also to the prominent Pujari. Oh, go at once and beg forgiveness from Sachi Devi. She will now become a fam famous Ganga Mata Takarani or Ganga Mata Goswamini due to her being carried by the Ganges. Bring Ganga Mata Takarani in a golden chariot with drums and all other paraphernalia to make a royal reception and royal procession. And you should become his disciple along with all of your, your prominent persons, your priests and all others. And if you do not take initiation from her, I will finish your whole family. The king awoke and at once went to the jail with golden chariots, his chief advisors, ministers, priests, and a large crowd. Jailkeepers! Release the prisoner at once! Yes, my lord. Oh, Goswami. Oh, Goswami, I am greatly 
indebted, I'm forever indebted to you for accepting me as your disciple. Although I am engrossed in sense enjoyment and always entangled in material affairs, I want to give some land for Sarvagoma Bhattacharya and I can make a beautiful temple and many other things there. I know your guru has given you this instruction. So please, let me do this service for you. Yes, you may do this. Certainly you may do this. This will be a great service to our Guru Parampara. always living in the temple of her heart. Her temple was there. She continued to give discourses and all the residents of Puri, as well as the highly elevated devotees, would attend. One day, while she was absorbed in chanting and remembering the pastimes of Krishna, a brahmana from Jaipur came to her. He had a very beautiful Takurji in his basket. He had walked on foot for many, many months until he came to Puri. I have been serving the deity of Rai Kishor, Sham Rai, who is Krishna himself. But he has now come to me in a dream and ordered me to take him to Jagannath Puri and to give him to Ganga Mata Goswami, who is residing there. He has told me that I am not doing proper service anymore. Sometimes I bathe him and sometimes I don't. One day I am cooking for him and another day I am not. So now I have come to Jagannath Puri and I must find Ganga Mata Goswami. Oh. Oh, Goswami, Takurji has come. You should take him and serve him. Oh, Brahman, I am performing Manasi Seva. I did not, I am a divine of Shiva Mata Goswami. I did not do Takurji Seva. But, but you must take him. He has ordered me to give him to you. But I have no time to worship. Please, don't ask him to do this. What can I do? I must leave him here. Tulsi Devi is growing. Perhaps... That night, the Brahmana left the deity in the midst of the Tulsi garden and fled. At four the next morning, Rai Kishore, that is Sham Rai, said to Gangamata in a dream, Morning. You are neglecting me. I came to have you, you, I came to have your service your love and affection, and you are neglecting me? I'm thirsty and I'm so hungry, so please take me, prepare something, something and offer that to me. Ganga Mata Thakurani then went to see that deity. She was so charmed and took him in her arms. She brought him inside the temple and began worshipping him there. Radhe Krishna Govinda Gopala Nanda Dula
that place was ruined. Nothing was there. But anyhow, she asked from the old devotees and made the heart heart there and began to do bhajan as his guru did. And after that, when she used to explain Srimad Bhagavatam, Brahma Gita and all other Venu Gita and so many, all were so much attractive <coughs> and everything short, in short, oh, they have shown all these things. Very good play. But try to be, oh, that Ganga Mata Goswami. Yeah. <laughs> Even King was attracted that he became disciple of Ganga Mata Goswami by the order of Jagannath. Only she oh, instructed or accepted like disciple. Otherwise, he would have never done so. So Jagannath even used to come and to order and to do so many things. So King, his ministers, all the pujaris of Jagannath, he became disciple of Jagannath. And then King himself <coughs> built a good temple there. How she became Ganga Mata Kusnavini? <coughs> also, she was always in Christ, <coughs> like Raghunath Das Kusnavi, Ruk Kusnavi. She never liked to worship any deity. But Shyam Rai, oh, he can himself from Jai. And he ordered Jagannath that he used to tell that she should serve me. I am very happy. To whom he will be happy? And then she knew this fact and next day in Tulsi corner, she took that deity and stands. Still now the deity is out there. And also Shalakram Shila is there. But now that temple is now one and tall. Oh, now it is about to be again. Again any Ganga Mata or Swamini may come or any devotee may come and rebuild it may be. So Ganga Mata or Swamini Where you collected this? From your class in Australia. My classes or I've written some from somewhere. Raj Balababu's house. Two years ago in Australia, Raj Balababu's house, he talked about this. Yes. It is very hard to discover all this. My classes have told so many things. Also, Brahmanda and Parikrama is very soon coming. Parikrama was not so many things discovered from India. They want to also write Lilachal Lila or Lilachal book also. Parikrama of Lilachal. So you should be very strong and ideal disciple. Like Ganga Mata Goswami, like Ravnath Das Goswami, or like don't be weak. Don't feel weak that when I am going to, now I will go to European too. After that I will be in India. It may be that I may be old like Vrindas and then I cannot tour, but you should not be. They are very strong. Reject anything which is not favorable for her. Even brother, sister, husband, wealth, reputation, everything. And 
accept it strongly, waiting for the favorable father. And always remember, Tannama Rupa Chaitadi Sukha Chitaranam Kramena Rasana Manasi Nirja Tishtan Bhaje Tadan Raja Janatulam Kadam Neta Kilam Always remember and go. Krishna will always, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu <coughs> will save you, protect you, and for they will respect all these things, if you are like so. And if you are malicious gratification, oh, they will go on. So, I request you all devotees to be like that. Don't go down. Always develop your Krishna Bhakti. Those will hear Bhakti and do Bhakti. Pranams must come. Detachment will come. Go. This will try to realize all these things. My heart gives blessings to you all who are here. Anyhow you are here. Hearing or anyhow you are helping and cooking. Anyway, I think that is good.